So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco 112 Collective Red Suit Daredevil. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic style box for the Mesco 112 line. We do get a slip cover of course and on it says 112 Collective. We do get the DD logo says Daredevil and Marvel. And then the bottom of it is the barcode and blah 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 slip that nobody cares about. And then here is the top of the box. And then here is the one side of it with the DD logo, and then on the bottom says Mesco Toys. And then on the other side, same thing pretty much. And then the back of the box shows a bunch of cool poses you can get the figure into along with some of the accessories. So that is the slip cover. Let's remove that. And on the actual box, I think it's the same thing as the slip cover as you can see on the back, the side, and the front. But we do get the flap here, which is magnetized, so you can open that up. And on the left side, we get some cool Daredevil artwork, really digging that. And then on the other side, we do get the window with the figure and the accessories behind it. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at the man without fear. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and Mesco did an outstanding job with this red suit Daredevil. I do like it more than the Shadowland Daredevil. They just did an excellent job with it, and it is... The same exact figure, just red instead of black and red. Mesco's just doing an excellent job with this 112 line. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this figure is the head sculpt, and I think the horns for these Daredevil Mesco figures are just executed perfectly. So very nice job on the horns there. Very nice sculpt and paint all throughout the face and the head sculpt there. And I do like how the eyes are a little bit of a brighter red compared to the rest rest of the mask. Very nice sculpt work around the eyebrows, like the way that looks there. And then around the uh, skin tone on the mouth and the nose and everything. Nice clean paint where the skin tone meets the red. We do get this very subtle paint shading around the skin tone. It's uh, almost barely noticeable, but there is a little bit of it there. Then on the side of the mask here, we do get some black paint shading on the lower part around the cheek. On the mask there and I do love the sculpt work here around the temple I think that looks pretty cool and then we do get this piece on his ear some nice sculpting on it continues around the back of his head to the other side of his ear so the face and the head sculpt looks good we do get some nice sculpt work on the neck as well and there is some black paint shading on that part so nice job with that and then we do get the cloth uh, clothing the red daredevil suit and some of it looks like it's kind of like rubbery and then we do get like the elastic type look of it same with on the inside of the torso and the inside of the arm there. And I love how the DD is centered right on his chest there. They did an excellent job with it. So I do like the way the DD looks on his suit. But the suit does look good. Um, we do get these shoulder pads on the arms. Nice paint and sculpt on them. So good job with that. And then there's the back of the figure. We do get the stitching going down the center of his back. And then we do get these like uh, elbow pad pieces on his elbows. Nice paint and sculpt on them. And the arms look pretty good, so nice job with those. And then the cloth uh, clothing tucks into his uh, gloves, I believe. And they did a nice job with the glove as well around the wrist. Nice paint and sculpt on it. We do get like a black wash all throughout it. It looks like we have like some buckles here that tighten up the glove or something. So that looks pretty cool. And then another one of my favorite things about this Daredevil figure is the belt here. I think Mezco really did a great job with it, and I love how they painted the buckle silver and everything, and then we do get like the notches there, so nice job with that, and then we get some really cool pouches on the right side, beautiful sculpt and paint, we see stitching around the outside of the pouches, and they painted the uh, buckle silver also, so very nice attention to detail with those two little pouches, and then the back of the belt, not much going on there, and then we do get the holster for his billy clubs, which was executed very well and they hold the billy clubs perfectly fine I, they just fit in there nice and tight we do get uh, like a black wash and these sculpted lines there and I think that looks pretty cool and then we do get another strap with the buckle and everything going around his leg one issue I do have with the holster for his billy club is it's supposed to look like this on the Shadowland Daredevil see how it runs like perfectly parallel with his leg and then the red suit DD kind of goes out on the bottom, so that kind of irritates me a little bit. I think my figure is just like that, though. Now for the legs here, they did a good job with them. We get the elastic part of the cloth coat clothing on, like, the inside and front of his legs. And then we get, like, the rubbery-looking part on, like, the side of his legs and then the back of his legs as well. And then we do get stitching from the torso running all the way down to the ankle there. 
and then same with on the inside of the leg as well and then the cloth clothing is tucked into his boots as you can see there and then we do get like these knee pads just like with the elbow pads nice paint and sculpt on them and then we do get his boots here and we do get that black wash all throughout them so very nice job with that and it looks like we get like these buckles on the side as you can see there so those look pretty cool we do get some sculpted wrinkles around the ankles so I do like the way that looks and for the feet nice sculpt and paint on them and I love how you can see the stitching like right around here and then up over here continuing to the heel so I really love that tiny attention to detail just very nice job by Mezco and then the bottom of them have a little bit of treads and we do get some peg holes and overall Mezco once again did an excellent job with a daredevil figure and to me I feel like this is the better out of him and the Shadowland Daredevil but personally the red suit DD is my favorite and I I think Mezco is really killing it with their 112 line and they gave us another great addition to the 112 line and I'm overall very happy with the detail on this Daredevil but anyway let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories we get a bunch of great stuff included with this Daredevil so we do get a Mezco bag of course in case you would like to store your accessories in here I would just say leave them in the packaging but it is up to you what you can do so cool that we get that. And then we do get a Mezco stand. We get the base and the arm. And the base does have the DD logo. And I do like the red colors that they chose for it. And it does have a peg in case you would like to peg it into the bottom of Daredevil's feet. If you would like to unpeg that, take the bottom of the arm. Just peg that in. And then the peg just comes out. And then when you want to set up the stand, go to the top of the base. Peg in the arm. And then there you go. It is all set up. And then it does swivel at the bottom. Hinges at the bottom. Hinges at the middle. Hinges at the top, it swivels at the clamp, and then the clamp is also on a hinge. So we do get that, and we do get this extra piece here, and this is meant for the radar effect that comes with Daredevil. It is a nice red translucent plastic, some nice sculpting on it as well. And the way you set this up, also this is hinged right there, and then also at the end there. But the way you set it up, you just clip that piece on right there. And then the peg at the top, you just peg it into the back of the radar sense like so. And then you could articulate it however you would like. And you could set Daredevil up on the stand. And then just have him stand in front of it. And then you have the cool radar sense there. So a cool little accessory that they included with Daredevil. So we do get that. And then we also get three interchangeable faces. Now the main difference with the accessories between the Red Suit Daredevil and the Shadowland Daredevil is the Shadowland only has the regular head. Meanwhile, the Red Suit comes with three interchangeable heads. So that's something I really like about this Red Suit Daredevil. So we do get this one here on the left that comes on the figure out of the packaging, which is the basic uh, face sculpt. And they did an excellent job with it. And then we get my personal favorite, which is the battle damaged face. And Mezco really did an amazing job with this one. I love the battle damage look. He has a black and blue eye and side of his cheek. We get a cut right there on his cheek. He has the angry teeth gritted look. Very nice paint and sculpt all throughout this head here. And I love how the mask is all torn off on the one side. Beautiful sculpt work at the top. How it's all damaged and everything. The horns look great. Just very nice job on this interchangeable head here. Like I said, this is definitely my favorite one. So we do get the battle damaged one. And then we do get the unmasked Matt Murdock head. And his, his eyes look like they're all white, but there is some baby blue right where the pupils should be. So very nice job on that. We do get some very subtle uh, paint shading around the skin tone. So nice work there. And then great job on the hair sculpt and the paint. The shading looks great on it, and the sculpt of the hair just looks amazing. Very nice job with the unmasked Matt Murdock head. So we get those three interchangeable faces. And then we also get two sets of Daredevil's Billy Clubs. So we do get the basic ones here, which are the same ones that we get with the Shadowland Daredevil. But very nice sculpt at the end of them with the silver parts. And there's the other side. Same exact thing as you can see there. And they do fit perfectly into his holster. Just slide it in the top loop like that. And then just slide it into the holster there and they fit in there perfectly and it looks dope once he has them holstered so we do get those billy clubs and then we also get the billy clubs with the cable on it or the bendy wire and this is such a great smart idea of an accessory to include with a daredevil figure because the uh, bendy wire is strong enough to hold up the billy clubs so you could 
Pose Daredevil around in those class classic poses with him flinging around his billy clubs. So I really love this option that Mezco gave you with the bendy wire and Daredevil's billy clubs. So we do get these, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video with the pitches. So we do get the two sets of billy clubs, and then we also get 12 interchangeable hands. So we do get a pair of fists, of course, which come on the figure out of the packaging and beautiful sculpt work on these. And I love the black wash throughout each interchangeable hand. Hand. Very nice sculpting on these hands though. We do get like a plate on the top of the hand. Very cool looking. So we do get a pair of fists and each hand is very simple to interchange on this figure. Then we get a pair of open hands or I just flung my billy club at your forehead hands. Very nice paint and sculpt again. And I love the texture on the palm of the hands there. Very cool looking. And all the fingers are like a softer rubbery type plastic. So we do get a pair of open hands, and then we get a pair of finger clenching hands. Very nice sculpt and paint on these. And I love how you can see the seam, seams running down all the fingers and down the side of the hand as well. I think that looks very cool actually. So very nice job. With that, we get a pair of those. And then we get a pair of gripping hands, and he grips onto the billy clubs perfectly with these. Very nice paint and sculpt on these as well. So nice job on the gripping hands there. And then we get another pair of Billy Club uh, holding hands. You get the uh, pinky and pointer finger extended out a little bit. And he grips onto the Billy Clubs all right with these. So very nice job with these. And then finally, we get another pair of Billy Club holding hands. And he grips onto them okay with these too. Very nice paint and sculpt as well on these. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with the Man Without Fear. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the height of Mr. Murdoch, it looks like he stands a little bit under six and a half inches tall. And then here he is compared to... The S.H. Figuarts Civil War Captain America, the S.H. Figuarts Mark 42 Iron Man, the Rebel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man, and the Good Smile Company Figma Avengers Hulk. And then here he is compared to... The Mezco 112 Dawn of Justice Batman, the Mezco 112 Green Arrow, and the Mezco 112 Punisher. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku, and the Mezco 112 Shadowland Daredevil. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! So now for the articulation, we do get two points at the neck, so the upper neck joint, Daredevil can look up about that much, which is alright, and then going down, he just pretty much looks straight ahead. We get some great pivot there, and then we do get swivel. Now the lower neck joint goes forward and back just a tiny bit, so with both joints, he can look down a decent amount, and then looks up a decent amount as well. We do get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck joint, and then it also swivels. So we get some pretty good movement at both those neck joints. Now for the torso, we do get a point of articulation under the chest here. So Daredevil can go forward about that much, and then back a tiny bit. So not the best forward and back movement. But we do get very nice pivot at that torso joint, and then good swivel as well. But it does get hindered by the cloth clothing. Now for the waist... I think we get better forward and back movement at the waist, so with both joints, Daredevil can go forward about that much, and then back about that much. We do get just a tiny bit of pivot at the waist, and then it swivels pretty good, but gets hindered by the cloth clothing, of course. Now for the arms here at the shoulders, we do have a butterfly type joint, so you can move the arm back and forth, so nice movement there. And then we do get a little bit of a circular motion out of the arm, so I do like that point of articulation. And then the arms go out to the sides a little less than 90 degrees, so that is a bit disappointing. I believe it gets hindered by the shoulder pad there. And then they do go up about 90 degrees. I wouldn't push it any further than that so you don't damage the cloth clothing there. We do have the bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that bend in a lot more than 90 degrees, so nice movement there. Then we do have a ball hinge at the wrist, so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, Daredevil can kick forward. About 90 degrees, so nice movement there. Goes to the back just a tiny bit, and then kicks out to the side a little less than 90 degrees, and then we do have upper thigh swivel. We have double jointed knees that bend back all the way, so very nice movement there. Now for the ankles, they do swivel. They hinge up a tiny bit, and then down a tiny bit as well. 
And then we do get some alright pivot with Daredevil. And out of all the Mezco 112 figures, I believe Daredevil has the best uh, ankle articulation. And he does have the same type of articulation as the Shadowland Daredevil. But I'm overall pretty satisfied with the movement on this Daredevil. Because you're going to get him in some great classic... Uh, daredevil type poses as I'm about to show you right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Red Suit Daredevil. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it an even 9. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, you can head over to agelessgeeks.com. You should have this in stock very, very soon. He has it up for pre-order right now. And don't forget, if you purchase something from there, to enter in code name Daredevil to get yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get a basic style box for the blah, 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 blah. and we do get a slip cover of course and on it says 112 collective d blah 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 <laughs> what the hell was that and we do get a slip cover of course and on it says 112 collective we do get the daredevil logo d d a u b b and then the bottom of it is the barcode blah 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 and then here is the one side of it says d d and then we do get the uh pop bo ba da boo chicka da ba ba Mark 42 Iron Man, the Rebel Blah Blah Boo, the SH Figure Arts Civil War Captain America, the SH Figure Arts Civil War Mark. What? The SH Figure Arts Civil War Captain America, the SH Figure Arts. So damn it. Switch come on the figure out of the packaging and beautiful sculpt on these and my daily blah blah blue. And so we do get a pair of fists, of course, and beautiful sculpt on these. Whoops, I dropped it. And we get this uh, plate or of armor or something on the top of the hand. So we do get a pair of chilapos. That much, which is alright. And then goes down about that much. Pretty much just blah 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 blah. And then we do get this piece on the ear going around the back of his head there. Continuing to the other side of his ear. Whoops, Daredevil fell.